Hi, I'm Will from StoneTheCastle.com, where you can find lots of fun projects to do and interesting things like telescopes, astronomy, catapults, making mead, all kinds of fun things to do on uh, my website. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about telescopes and the different types of telescopes. Um, a big question for beginners to astronomy is, you know, how come the eyepiece is on the side of the, the, the telescope rather than on the end of the telescope? You know, you may be familiar with the kind of scope that you look through like this. You look in the eyepiece at the end, and uh, that's pretty normal. But you say, wow, how come the eyepiece is here? And that all goes down to a reflector telescope, which is what this is. And <clears throat> I'll show you some of the different parts of this scope. The, the biggest reason for this is back here is a mirror. So the light from uh, the night sky objects comes down through the tube like this bounces off the mirror, hits a secondary mirror, and then goes to the side out the eyepiece like this. So you would look in the telescope just like this. And that's why a reflector telescope is different. It reflects light. Whereas a refractor telescope, the light would come in, be bent by a lens, hit the eyepiece in the back, and then you would look at the eyepiece through here. But that's a reflector. And some of the other common parts of a reflector telescope are the mount down here. This is what it's mounted to. And this is called an equatorial mount, which means it follows the equator, rather than an alt azimuth mount. So when you're using a telescope like this, you actually have to set it up at night when you <clears throat> before you use it. And you can see this axis here would point exactly towards the North Star. And then what would happen is the, the motor here would actually rotate the telescope slowly at, in um, actually one revolution every 24 hours to counteract the motion of the Earth. So you could set this up correctly, point it at something, turn on the motor, and it would stay pointed at that throughout the night, which is kind of nice, and it helps if you're taking photographs. But it does make it a little bit difficult to operate in that you can't just turn it any way you want. You have to follow the specific, the very specific ways that it moves. But with a little bit of practice, you get, you get good at that, and you get used to using an equatorial mount. A couple more things on here. This is the the, um, the telescope assembly, the actual optics assembly, with the mirror, the secondary mirror, the eyepiece, which you would roll in and out to focus. That's the eyepiece holder. This is the eyepiece that you put in there. And you get different magnifications by putting different sized eyepieces in there. Um, the secondary telescope here, this is a small refractor telescope, and it, and it helps you to find um, things in the night sky. So you look through this and get a basic idea of where you're at, get close to the object you want to look at before you would start to use this. It makes it much, much easier. And as I said, the clock drive, which um, drives it to counterweight, because this assembly is heavily heavy, if you position your counterweight well, it'll make, it'll make this assembly very balanced and take a lot of the strain off the motor and make it very smooth motion. These are the um, um, setting rings. and the mount the mirrors down here and that's about it so your basic um, reflector telescope um, once again uh, thanks for checking out uh, my my video and i've got lots more fascinating and fun stuff on my website stormthecastle.com where i have astronomy telescopes uh, fantasy writing some of my books um, mead if you want to brew mead make catapults uh, learn how to do fantasy art all kinds of fun stuff uh, thanks